what is up you guys the same youtube channel as always it is coming up september the 14th so keep that in mind this date right here is coming up september the 14th that's the job fair they're going to be having it at the Williston State College in Williston, North Dakota. So, it's a little, getting a little warm, getting a little warm today. But uh, yeah. What's going on in the oil field today, man? A big old tree next to somebody's house that's probably been there before the houses were there. But just another day in the oil field of the Bach in North Dakota. What are you guys' ideas, comments, uh, questions that you may have? Throw them in the comments so I can get back to you guys. Hopefully I can give you some information that you can use for something. Something useful, entertainment, offering y'all something out here. We got the Wise Penny little thrift shop over here by the downtown area. You got a key energy truck passing by you. They're hiring. You got the Salvation Army store. You can check out that business spotlight I did for the Salvation Army in one of our previous previous videos. Northwest Therapy Services. I can't remember the name of this little shop that I just passed that sells hats and athletic wear. Up here to the left is the only, I think it's the only ethnic clothing store. Matter of fact, this guy right here, uh, Universal Boutique. Like he sells all kinds of uh, urban clothes and stuff like that. But uh, I'm on my way up here to the the uh, higher quest. It's right here up the road. Anyway, I just stuff started going through my head at that time but what's been going on with the audience what's been going on with you guys hopefully everything's going good green light all you all right you guys let's go long time coming man long time coming but hopefully you guys out there making some money enjoying life enjoying life making money and having fun because tomorrow is not guaranteed to come. Now I'm going to pause this video while I go up here in this high quest place real quick. Alright you guys, I am back. Um, let me take a little drive around take a little drive around Williston real quick I'm going to head back in oh, also for all you for all you guys that are out there um, if you uh, if uh, me, me and a co-worker were having a conversation about this and he said, man, what, what you can get, what you can accomplish up here just by applying yourself. And we were talking how we've seen people start from the basement level, below, below le level one, and look where they at now. Look, look, look what they, and uh, it's something, man, it's something. And I've been talking to co-workers at the time when we were working together saying, hey, you know what, man, you ought to, you ought to go for being supervisor. Nah, 
no, I don't want the headache. I don't want the headache. I'm like, hey, even if you don't want it, just try it out, get the experience, put a year, year and a half, maybe two years into it. And then, you know, if, if that's not for you, hey, just say, you know what, this is not for me. I just want to go to doing this. And whatever your niche is, whatever you like doing, whatever is your particular thing, just go out there and do it. Because opportunity is all around you. It's just like these cars and this, this, uh, this car dealership that I'm passing by. There's a plethora, that's the word. G-Style, they're hiring. And I know they're hiring owner operators because that guy back there is not is not a company driver. First Gen Cummins, 1993. But uh, there's a lot up here, man. It's, it ain't for the if you ain't real if you ain't willing to get out and you know, apply yourself. This ain't the place if you know. You need some streets to run in. You know, you need some hustle. What the hell, what the hell would I hustle up here for? When they giving away money. But, if that's your thing, just, just keep your trouble where you at. Don't, do not bring your trouble up here. Cause they can see you a mile away. But uh, damn, I should have went straight. Ain't nobody behind me. Now I gotta hear somebody coming. Hmm. Oh, man, I hear somebody coming. Just a shoot. But uh, can't, can't get across right there. It's all good. Let's see how much this oil change is and all that kind of stuff. They just let them do it. But uh, what's been going on in the oil field as of late has been work and more work and more companies hiring people and people moving between companies because this company is saying, hey, you come over here, we'll, we'll, we'll offer you this. And then this other company saying, hey, you come over here, we'll offer you this. What's your name? Give me your email, send me your, your resume. I'll get all you guys' resumes topped up. Looking good. And just keep it simple, man. You don't have to put, put a whole lot of stuff on your resume. What, what they really want to see, which I don't know what an inexperienced person's resume need, needs to look like outside of you can come to work, be on time, do your job, mind your business, and not harass your coworkers. That's it. That's that's pretty much what I can tell you. That your that your resume needs to look like. Come to work, be on time, do your job, mind your business, and don't harass your coworkers. That is it. That is it. If any of you are connoisseurs of food, you have a food restaurant idea, this place is perfect for you. Especially if you got something that's good, you have a variety of it, you got a menu already in line, come on up here. You just have to source what you're gonna get, where you're gonna get your supply of, of stuff from. Because you ain't really got no competition up here. I'm just being real with you. You do not really have competition as far as restaurants go in this area. Oh man, I'm trying to think what else. Like I said before, you guys have any ideas, questions, or comments, uh, topics, throw them off in here because I've kind of run out of stuff. And on my off days, it is usually sleep. But, uh, what is North Dakota like? It's a totally different place.
totally different, totally different place. But everything's been going good, man, as far as work coming, I mean, running up the bag. I think that's the phrase they use nowadays. I'm just running up the bags. Definitely more than one, or two, or three, four, five. Do I like this more than driving trucks? Yeah. Do I like this more than being on an operator? Predominantly, yes. Like, there's a percentage I have to say 70% more, 70 to 75% more. I like this more than being on an operator. My problem with being on an operator was. I would run hard for two or three months and take a, a month or two months off. Run hard two or three months, take a month or two months off. So in hindsight, I was kind of doing what I'm doing here, but after I subtracted maintenance, fuel, and all of that, it was like, hmm, this, there, there, really ain't a, there really ain't a big difference here by the time I subtract all of that stuff. kind of just rambling on. I didn't have no specific things that came to mind right, right now. There's those guys wanting somebody to come vote. I don't know what the heck they got going on. There's a cartoons place over there to the right. You have good dependable transportation when you come up here. I hope that uh, cause I can easily tell you, hey, you know, go over here, go work. You know, there's there's money to be to be made over here. But I used to wonder how come I, I would ask somebody, hey, you know, what is what is such and such over here at this place? And one reason. One reason that people may not necessarily be able to tell you how something is, you know, I asked the guy, hey, what is, what is the pay and benefits over here at where you're working at? I'm trying to get a, an idea so I can fill somebody in about coming to work at the place. And I asked the guy and he says he doesn't know because he's been there for years at his position and he doesn't know what these other positions that or entry level where he works at are because it has nothing to do with him. Nothing. It's just he's coming to work, maintaining his business, doing his job, and he don't know what entry level people are making because he done moved up to you know this this point. And that's you have to understand stuff like that. It's like if somebody asked me where I work at what is entry level where I work at. One, I don't know. Two, if you don't have a CDL, you're not getting hired anyway, period. And number three, if you don't know somebody, there's the only way you come to work where I work at. There's the only way you're going to work where I work at, The my, my second option, my third option, and my fourth option. I know people that work at all four of those places. So five if I count that one over there, but I'm not, I'm not counting. being real with you. But we're going to ride up here to the loves and then I'm going to cut this video there. And upload this for you guys to check out. Not a lot of oil field related stuff I could throw in here right now because I've just enjoyed my off days and slept and rested. Went to the gym yesterday. Feel awesome today. And for those of you who are, who are getting ready to re-enter the oil field, Go to the gym, man. At least go to the gym a week prior before you come back up here. Go to the gym. Push yourself really hard. 
at least three or four times during that seven day period so that when you when you get back into work into the oil field work it's not such a hard transition it's not such a you know man i'm worn out and in the beginning don't try to just work and work and work all your all days pulling doubles tra just transition nice and smooth back into work because you may end up burning yourself out sooner just because you did that the money's gonna add up so just be smart man it's the only it's the only body and the only life that you're ever gonna get see in this place you used to have a whole bunch of owner operators now all i see is a bunch of sand trucks sitting back up in there and they either gonna transition into something else or uh in here for a minute. I'm going to turn the camera around so y'all can see uh, this place right here. It used to be Sunwell Services. Now it's uh, Steel X Energy. Do this video in two parts. 